In Daniel chapter 5, we read about a ghostly hand writing on the wall. The words, Mini, Mini, Tekel, You Parson. So today, we're going to do an experiment with secret messages. Here's what you'll need. You'll need one tablespoon of water, one tablespoon of baking soda, one tablespoon of grape juice, a couple of Q-tips, a white piece of paper, and you're good to go. Let's get started. Let's take one tablespoon of baking soda and we're going to put that into the water and mix it up. So pour that in and I'm going to use one of my Q-tips to stir. You could use a spoon, whatever you want to make that easier. Just mix that up for a second. And now the secret ingredients are ready. We are going to write on our paper. But pay attention because you won't be able to see it. Mini, mini, tickle you parson, just like the ghostly handwriting on the wall. It's invisible. So you could pass messages and no one would know what you wrote. Mini, mini, and now tackle. And each time you dip that into your water mixture, I kind of stir it around and get to the bottom to make sure that I have baking soda on my Q-tip. And the last word was you parson. Now once we finish writing this, we need to let it set for just a little bit to dry. Really it only needs about 10 minutes. See there, it just looks like a wet, messy paper. Now let's let it sit and we'll come back and do the next step of our secret message. All right, now our paper is dry and it's time for the fun part. You're going to take your grape juice and get everything else out of the way. And all you'll need is your grape juice. If you don't have grape juice, honestly, you could use Kool-Aid, just anything that's a dark color. We're gonna dip our Q-tip in there and just start rubbing across the paper. And check it out. The secret message starts to be revealed. So there is our first word. And we'll continue doing that across the whole page to see what the secret message says. Of course, you and I know already, but let's say you want to write a note to a friend that you didn't want your parents to see because it's a funny joke. Well, you can write a secret message and all they need is some grape juice or Kool-Aid and they can read it later. And now that you've done this, Go back and read Daniel chapter 5, a scary story about a king who dishonored God, and God sent a ghostly hand to write on the wall, leaving a scary message for this dishonorable king.